Welcome back, my fellow radiation nerds. Today we will learn about the radioactivity and uses of terbium-161. Terbium is a rare earth element with an atomic number of 65. It has only one natural occurring isotope, terbium-159, which is stable. Terbium has been discovered in 1943 by a Swedish chemist, Carl Gustav Mosander, who is also the chemist behind the discovery of lanthanum, which radioactivity and uses I already covered in an earlier video. Since terbium is part of the lanthanide series, it shares many of their chemical and physical properties. Terbium-161 is a short-lived radioactive isotope of terbium, and it is produced by the radiation of stable gadolinium-160 in the Prismap network of research nuclear reactors. It has half-life of just under 7 days, and it decays for a beta emission into stable dysprosium-161, and in the process, it also releases gamma rays at 25.7, 48.9, and 74.6 keV, which my race it had no problem in detecting. My sample of terbium is in the form of terbium chloride solution, and it has an activity of around 100 to 150 becquerels. On my race gamma spectrometer, I got only 16 CPS when measured inside of my lead castle, with the sample being placed as close as possible to the detector. The soft beta radiation coming from terbium-161 unfortunately is being shielded by the plastic container, and I got only marginally higher activity compared to the background radiation, when measured with my Ludlow Model 3 meter with a 44-9 probe at 1 cm distance. Terbium-161 is currently being tested for use in nuclear medicine to treat prostate cancer and in imaging techniques such as single photon emission computed tomography. While I don't have much time with this sample before it decays, it was great fun measuring its radioactivity and learning about it. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on Terbium-161 and what did you find the most interesting about it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also, feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee and support my work financially. And remember, stay active.